mind sinkers, what a game! Oh my gosh, you look at what hook line sinker was able to do only putting up 16 runs in that first inning. We spoke so much about the mm -hmm. offense in the pregame show, mm -hmm. but it's the defense from both sides that come through. That catch from Jolly Olive at the oh. end to end it. Nikki Cass for Pinstripe Strong coming up big with some really big defensive plays. But, man, what an interesting, low-scoring, defensively played game. And I'm not going to lie. I, I genuinely believed up until the last over, yeah. two over, whatever, I thought Pinstripe Strong had it in the bag. I really did, because typically in matches that we've seen in the warehouse so far in this tournament, when that many runs needed to be scored, it's a no-brainer. Yeah. That team's got it, it's fine, whatever. But we've heard so many of these cricket guys talk about the fact that when you're chasing and it's a playoff game and that pressure, that pressure is real. And I think we've seen it a lot in these, these semifinal and final matchups. Yeah, it's been some serious pressure. We've seen that shift in the postseason. We've seen people going from wanting to pitch first to wanting to hit first mm -hmm. because they want to be the team that's setting the tone in that second inning. They want the other team to be the ones having that pressure on yeah. them, having to hit sixes, having to hit those boundary balls. And it's been a strategy that we've seen just really switch yes. from the regular season to the postseason. Could not agree more. Darren Sammy and Chris Rose have some final thoughts on this incredible matchup, guys. Well, Darren Sammy, let's be honest here. There's probably a large portion of our John Boy Media community that didn't know much about the world of cricket before our first ever ball in play tournament. What they have seen through two tournaments now is the excitement, the passion, the emotion, all the different twists and turns that your sport has to offer us. Man, I'm telling you, it's a great game. They say it's a gentleman's game, but it's so entertaining. You see, look at the, the, the reactions, the, the emotions. You know, every ball, there's an event happening. You cannot take your eyes off the action. And what a final we had. Man, kudos to John Boy Media. They, they, they're on something major here. And I think it's also the different ways that you can win this, right? I mean, with pinstripe strong and with hook line sinkers, we're thinking to ourselves, man, this is going to be a bloodbath offensively. And then all of a sudden, the bowling and the defense takes center stage. It's the different types of adaptability that you need to show in order to become a champion. Yes, and you, you add the pressure of a, of a final to it. You know, you know, they say we have a saying in the Caribbean, pressure boost pipe. And the, the pressure really got to pinstripe strong. They had it in their hands. They had 10 balls to get 11 runs. And they couldn't do it. They couldn't do it. And they lost by double digits on top of it all. Oh, my goodness. It really is absolutely unbelievable. So, I, listen, I hope you had a great time. I had a great time. You're, you're like family around <laughs> I here I am, now, I man, am. Huh? Thanks that, for having me, man. I'll be back here next year again. I can't wait until we build that <laughs> warehouse in St. Lucia. Oh, and yeah. we're all just hanging out well, on the beach, listen, right? Listen, I have a warehouse in St. Lucia oh, waiting you for you guys. Okay. Yes, I do. All right. What so do just take a trip down to St. Lucia. Let's have the ball and play tournament there whenever you're ready. That sounds good. Hey, gang, you want to go to St. Lucia? Huh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> You want to have Jimmy and Jake pay for it? <laughs> yeah. yeah! Game 11 highlights are here. The finals, the championship, and Pinstripe Strong's off to a hot defensive start. Nikki Cass wearing the Pinstripe jersey in honor of their injured teammate, Shelfie, who is on the sidelines. But Nikki Cass said, no, I'm going to prove myself and wear these stripes proudly. Defensively, he showed out holding hook line sinker to only 16 in the first 16 so after a defensive show out by pinstripe strong we're expecting an offensive show out right wrong this was a low scoring game they only ended up putting 29 on the board going into the second which is very uncharacteristic that ball there's Whoa. a six by jolly olive <laughs> even with that six from jolly olive it is still a low scoring game 48 to 29 heading into the bottom of the second so the chase is very small for pinstripe strong that ball hit off the wall oh, oh and he it's dropped it and with that dropped ball, their victory is so close, they can almost taste it. 10 away, but with the next three pitches, Hook Line Singer does the unthinkable with a wicket. And another wicket by Drew Davis. And then the play of all plays. Catch! Oh! 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 It is over! It is over! Oh! It is over! Oh! I don't even know how to do this! Oh! My goodness! He what a comeback! It. The 
just snatch it from the jaws of defeat. And just like everyone else at home, I myself am speechless, was speechless, and will forever be speechless by this game ending the way that it did. Hook, line, sinker pulls out the victory, winning the championship and letting Pinstripe Strong almost taste it and yet fall short. Let's hear from them in the press room. Pinstripe Strong, can you just take me through the emotions in the last 10 minutes? Looked like you guys were well on your way to a championship and three wickets and a couple pitches there. Game, game changed pretty quickly. Yeah, it was pretty bad. I mean, it's on me. I, it's on me. It's yeah, my no, fault. It's on all of us. No, it's all um, I kind of left us hanging here, bud. <laughs> no, you're good. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. Um, I just, you know, our whole strategy was let's not run into outs, and we ran into outs twice. So that's that's on me. So I should have um, taken responsibility for that. Going to get the 20 runs you needed? We felt confident, but this game, like, it, it can switch like that. So you don't want to be too overconfident in those situations. Ah, it's so hard to do these things. When you lose, I hate it. <laughs> Damn, man. Yep. Yeah. Fucking <sighs> blows. Uh, super confident that we were going to do it, especially with the chances you have and you only got you only needed 20. Um, uh, but, I mean, if you're going to – if this is the equivalent of blowing like a – it feels like blowing like a 10-run lead in baseball mm -hmm. almost, the like yeah. in the ninth <laughs> inning. Um, <laughs> we had so much – I mean, so much momentum going our way, especially with the way that we bowled. Um, shit happens. On the, on the positive side for you guys, how about Nikki Cass? Oh, awesome. Game. Unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable. Unbelievable. If we would have – We all played hard in the beginning of the game. We – we all kind of ran it up in a circle, and we said that this is going to be our moment to make, and just didn't pan out that way. But thank you for taking me in. I felt a part of the team. I'm always Team Loveys, but I was pinstripe strong for two games, and it was a blast. We, yeah, we would have we would have put him in a parentheses like banner if he if we would have. He we came up that big defensively. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think it's very much with, to do with the cricket because as soon as it gets to play off sort of ball and play, but cricket. The bowling comes into play because batsmen tense up to try and hit it harder and then pressure can build. And that's what happened. We spoke about it at the previous press conference. Yeah. It happened with us. I fully believe we're going to chase that in one or two overs and get it done. But one wicket changes at one good dot ball, one good stop, and the pressure could build. And that's what happened. All credit to them. They played unbelievable. Yeah. Um, you know, they deserve it with that last catch. I mean, that's, uh, that's a one in a million catch. So, yeah, I mean... That's what happens. It's almost like, yeah, playoff, playoff, play and ball is, is, is the pitching comes into play. Can we talk about a little bit about Pinstripe Strong as a team? You guys last tournament were picked eighth, won a couple games, surprised the people. Here, the two people to my right both picked you guys to lose in your first game. You went out undefeated during the regular season, made it to the championship. I know right now it might be hard to feel like it, but can you, you Joe's, do you see the progress that you made? Do you feel like you've taken this team to the next level, even if maybe you didn't get all the way to the championship like you wanted? The point of the game is to win. So, like, I mean, we're happy, like, we yeah, played we or whatever, start, but I get it, but I always felt confident that we were going to hit. And the fact that we, you know, like, hitting is, like, our thing, you know? Like, it's always been our thing. So it's... um. The fact we started bowling and then stopped hitting. I mean, I thought once we started bowling, it was like, oh, wow, we're going to be a crazy tandem. Um, but, you know, going into the next tournament, that should be some experience to draw on. But um, What were they able to yeah. do that was so effective with their bowling to limit you guys offensively? Um, I think that there was a lot. First of all, there was a lot of um, the pitches up. Uh, we were popping up. Um, you know, probably adjust on that a little bit more. And then there was a, um, maybe, I think it was more on us trying to, you know, hit the six, the 12 run ball versus just, Hey, let's get four. Let's get, you know, let's just do what we were normally doing, which is just, let's just let the hands work. Yeah. You know? And then like in the previous games, like we, we mentally told ourselves like, we're not running, you know, and then we switched it to, all right, we got to run, and that kind of, like, bit us in the, in the behind. If we would have stuck with the original game plan, 
we would I, I have confidence that we would have pulled through. And Trey Strong, a team that a lot of people doubted, made it to the championship. No, not the ending you guys wanted, but thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Hook, line, sinkers. You guys were up against the odds there in that last inning. A slim lead to go to. And you get three wickets within a couple pitches. Jolly, I'm sure you had to feel like you're the, the kind of the strategy guy on this team. Hmm. That, that number wasn't no. enough. No, yeah, I, I totally agree. I was going into that last inning uh, kind of thinking I'd cost my team the championship. You know, I had two pop outs, I think like eight runs maybe. And that's just, it's not enough because my contribution to the team is offense. And then. Jay, who I want to give all the credit to, we even because some of us didn't believe, including me. I don't think any of us. I don't think any of us believed it as much as Jay did. And Jay kept telling us, all we need is three good catches, all we need is one early catch, and we're right back in this. He believed the whole time. <clears throat> and as soon as one came, the other came, and the other one came after that, and he believed the entire inning. And I think without him telling us that the entire time, maybe we don't win that game. Jay, what made you believe? Because, I mean, I think with everyone else probably in the building <clears throat> thought the game was over. I think he's just being too kind. It's a team effort. Uh, we did a great job as a team. Uh, uh, but again, uh, as I said, like I've been playing competitive cricket for a long time, so it really helps me be mentally very strong in challenging situations. And I told these guys, runs on the board. I told Kelsey, runs on the board is runs on the board. It's 5, 10, 15. We defended, what, 16 and 19 in the second inning. Yeah. And they probably had the best batters in their side. So credit goes to the other team as well. They were pretty good throughout the tournament. And thanks to you guys as well. You were fantastic. And I'll definitely be again here. <laughs> <laughs> I think the like, the first one, like honestly, like, the first one I was like, all right, there's just one. Like, Lou's still in the game and stuff like that. Or maybe that was he, Lou was out, but they still had, like, hitters. But it was, like, definitely the second ground out that was like, oh, we could, like, actually do this. For me, at least. I know, obviously, yeah. Jay was like, Jay had way more belief than any of us. So, <laughs> kudos to him. The whole, whole way, Jay said, we just need to make one good catch, and the pressure completely flips. Well, that was the thing. I, I didn't make the one good catch, the first catch. Well, I was that, like, that's oh. the thing. <laughs> Sure yeah, remember. but that's how a team works, right? I yeah. mean, you don't do it intentionally. You you don't make mistakes. I mean, when you do well, everybody supports you. But when you don't do well, that's where actually a great team comes up, right? So oh, yeah. I mean, when when you're winning, everybody is with you. But when you're losing, it actually matters when who's together. So yeah. we're with you. I told you, win or lose, brothers for life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah beat it. All right, we gotta talk about it now. We have we've gone this long. Jala, the last catch. <laughs> Take us through it. What do you see? Did you think you had a chance when that ball was initially hit to get there? Um. So we, that, I think it came right after your wicket, right? The ground ball. I believe it was the next pitch. Been the next and, pitch. I mean, Jay was telling us the entire time, you know, one fly ball, one fly ball. And I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I kind of didn't want that ball hit to me. I'm not going <laughs> to lie because Drew's a great fielder. Jay's a great pitcher. I was like, they, they can get this done. They can pick me up. And the first pitch that I have that thought on, it goes right to me. And I think I saw it for a second, but the entire philosophy we have the entire time for our defense was – if it's in the air, hug the wall and like yeah. see if you can get a look at it. Because a lot of times it hits the second beam, bounces in, and then it's a scramble. But on the off chance it gets past that second beam and bounces right down, you have a chance at it. And it landed a little in front of me. I was able to kind of – I don't even know how I did it. I blacked out a little bit. And I caught it, looked at it, said, oh, I caught it, looked up, and then there was a stampede of people in confetti, <laughs> and the rest was just a complete blackout. Yeah, I think – oh, I was going to yeah. say, like, like, what Jolly said, like, I think something – I think something like – Pro, like may have went unnoticed is like jolly the most like in that last game there were a lot that hit off the wall that turned into dot balls that they didn't get any runs off yeah. of because he kept it in front of him it was quick to like, recover and um just stopped them from running so like that they could have had a couple more runs and the game could have ended maybe a little earlier but the fact that he like we kept yeah. the ball in front of us and like had a lot of those just <clears throat> dot balls really helped yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the warehouse moment that I always thought of that I couldn't top was the walk-off, and that was awesome. That was so, it was a great moment, especially because I was so bad that tournament to have that. And this tournament was different because this time I actually felt like I was playing a game that was like much more catered to my skill set. It was hitting and fielding. And to not come up big in that last game when my team needed me, like I could tell I was going to think about that for six months. And that catch kind of just took everything off the shoulders completely, and that it made it that much sweeter because – one, we get to hang a banner up, which makes it that much better. But two, it was kind of like a, a redeeming moment, which is nice. How, how would you guys describe just the roller coaster of emotions? I mean, you go back to the first inning, and you guys only put up 16 runs. Yeah. 
And at that point, it's looking really bleak. And yeah. there were so many massive defensive plays throughout the game. It just felt like it was a constant. Can I say something to yeah. them? I think a lot of uh, the people in the stands, they all thought it's only 16. But I thought it's 16. It's not only. It's 16. They mm -hmm. said we got 16 and they had to make 16. And they got only 12 run lead. So it's never only, I feel right. like, especially in a... A pressure game like a final, so I kept telling you all runs on the board as runs on the board. And this victory is for David. Yeah. I'm happy, bro. Okay, Pax, any final thoughts? What an exciting, crazy, unexpected game that we got for the championship game here at the warehouse. First of all, Drew Davis. What a guy. Drew Davis's energy just throughout this tournament, but especially in that final game, yeah. he wasn't like just a dog. He was a wolf. Yeah. Doing backbends and diving on the floor and just keeping that team morale up and just entertaining, mm -hmm. truthfully. And BBD, can we just give like a round of applause for BBD? Because this kid not only went out and won the first tournament last year, but then he comes this year gets put on a team and helps his team get another victory and, and truthfully so proud so proud of hook line sinker i think they did an incredible job in this tournament and pinstripe strong did an incredible job as well i can't wait for these videos to come out there are two people now in the warehouse with two banners hmm? Ooh. trevor ploof and bbd what a weird matchup but man do we love, love it. it and we cannot thank you guys enough for tuning in with us this whole entire time for the tournament we hope you enjoyed it just as much as we did we want to thank our crew yep. everybody behind the scenes if you guys <laughs> could only imagine the people that are in this warehouse putting this tournament together you mm -hmm. only see the people on camera you see the people playing but there is a whole army that is working weeks and months leading up to this event that really appreciate you tuning in we really appreciate them and we hope that you guys enjoyed it just as much as we did because we got plenty more to come Woo! here in the warehouse so packs hook line sinker the champion we did it <laughs>